A racist video shows Antelope Valley students painting a boy's face black and using racial slurs. And tonight, some of those kids are expressing regret and community leaders are calling for a change in how and what we teach our kids. Now that video has shocked and outraged the community. It certainly has now civil rights leaders and school officials are demanding change. A news conference was held today to address that video. And CBSN Los Angeles anchor Jasmine Veal is live in the newsroom with more. Jasmine. Jeff, so this group not only talked about how hurtful that video was, but that it should be a wake up call on how much more needs to be done to keep this from happening again. A white. <laughs> this video began surfacing online over the weekend. It was first posted to Snapchat and later shared on Twitter. It shows a student getting his face painted in what looks like blackface, as other students reportedly from Quartz Hill High School use racial slurs like the N-word in the background. And in my personal opinion, I feel like rather than bashing these kids and calling them racist, we need to go ahead and say what can we do better and how can we improve. Angelie Zambrano, a student at Quartz Hill High, stood with community members and civil rights leaders outside the Antelope Valley School District offices today calling for change. She says one of her friends was there when the video was recorded and has since apologized for being in the wrong place at the wrong time, but has gotten death threats. But we can't kill hate with hate. Absolutely. We need to realize that this isn't just a problem with these kids, but it's a problem in how they're being raised and what they're being taught. Board of Trustees member Victoria Rufin brought up the picture of four elementary school teachers in Palmdale posing with a noose. These blackface issues, these noose issues are rooted in a higher level of ignorance by allowing these behaviors to live in our districts and within our communities. Parents like Jesse Smith spoke out as well. Seeing the video, it hurt. It caused my daughter to hurt, pain, but it also served as a teachable moment. All of them calling on the community to step up. We can't let it happen, you yeah, all. We can't. We, right. we cannot let it happen. Right. And now this, the Antelope Valley Union High School District released a statement yesterday that reads in part that we were recently made aware of a social media video showing a group of teens exhibiting deeply offensive and inexcusable racist behavior. This runs counter to the district's core values. We are working on identifying those in the video while including our law enforcement partners and will take action as deemed appropriate. Well, I checked and no word yet from the district today on any kind of disciplinary action. The sheriff's department also told me they are still investigating. Uh, Pat and Jeff Quartz Hill High School has said that when summer school begins next week counselors will be visiting each and every class to talk about tolerance all right thanks